Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today a new update has actually came out to the game so it has been a while since the previous one came out but now there's a whole new update come out so if you don't know um, let's just get straight into this yeah so if you don't know in America on the 21st I believe yeah the 21st of August so that's precisely in three days since it's the 18th day and I'm doing this the day this update came out so on the 21st of August there is going to be a, a solar eclipse over the United States of America so sadly I won't see it because I'm also English but yeah for all the people who are there uh, that should be pretty cool stuff so yeah there's a just saying what's going on here so some bug fixes and stuff like that and there's some new timer option here have to have a play around with that because yeah, I don't know what the heck that does. So I'll just read up the notes here right now. So it says there's a small update which includes some bug fixes and a new advanced time feature. Click the timer icon on the bottom of the bar to run the sim until a specified length of time has passed. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting as well. So, yes, yeah, so we've got the total solar eclipses. So, yeah, that's what it's called, total solar eclipse. So apparently they're rare events, happen every 18 months. The opportunity to view them is very rare since a very narrow path across the Earth so blah 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 so apparently yeah so on the um, 21st um, of August in the um, continental USA they says it will witness its first solar eclipse in 38 years in 14 different states so um, places like Lincoln City or OG I can't pronounce that or Oregon or Oregon Ch Charleston South South, South Carolina um, yeah it says those things so sorry if I'm setting those wrong I'm not good at pronunciations of stuff it isn't in England <laughs> oh well yeah sorry if that annoyed anyone yeah so um let's see what else is here so yeah there's gonna be some very interesting eclipse so we're gonna have to go and check this out so let's um, actually go and find this so we're gonna go into um I still wanna know what this is up here that we are hiring a full-time climate and simulation developer so I can't wait for that climate update to come out don't know how long it'll take be pretty cool so total solar eclipse on august the 21st so is this it right here so we've got the moon here looking pretty cool i love the texture for the moon it's so much cooler than the old texture of it so hey this bar is now purple anyone notice that look this bar used to be red when you pause the game but now it is purple so that, that's interesting okay so let's put it to a few minutes so we can just see this will um turn off trails and delete that so we can see everything looks like it has there's something this looks different to me is that just me all right so over here we've currently got the asia area here so we need to wait till the earth to rotate a bit so let's have a look here so it's the usa it'll be going to the eclipse here so yeah if any of you guys are actually in the usa um tell me because that'd be pretty interesting to know how many of you guys are going to be seeing this eclipse because yeah, if it's going to be covering a lot of America, you guys probably should see it, or you should notice a difference in the light changes throughout the day, so that would be pretty cool. So it should be appearing here somewhere, so let's slow this down, get a good look. So here's the USA, so we've got Florida there, that's where I've been. I've been to New York as well, and um, Washington, the city, not the state, it's pretty cool stuff. So let's see where the moon is going to appear. Oh, I see it there. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. So there we go, so we've got all of like these, the middle of America here completely dark. That is, that's pretty cool actually, so look at that. So now it's traveling over, I don't think New York will actually get it, I think that's a little up here. So yeah, there is um, the eclipse there, and now it's going to the Atlantic Ocean, and it has gone. See, like that, just gone like that, so that's pretty cool. So let's actually get a different view of this, so let's go back into this simulation again. Okay, so let's... um look at it from the Earth's perspective over the moon so let's um, wait for it to speed up a bit please let's go okay so it should be happening about here so let's slow this down hit play and we should be seeing the moon's shadow appear right about now come on, where is it at? there it is alright so we pause it about there so oh it does cover Florida look Florida's pretty dark there okay that's pretty cool so if we um actually um, let's do this so look at that black dot on it that looks actually looks really cool so if we go from the earth here and then look over there we should see the moon blocking the sun yeah look at that that's so cool all right so yeah there we go we've got our moon there so if we go right to the um dark area which should be about where, where is it so here so this is the dark um patch on earth right now so if we look over there yeah look it's blocking out the whole sun so there's our clips looking good at that look at that it's very cool so if we um where is it? So if we go to Earth, actually land on the surface here. So let's land right in the middle here. So is this near Philadelphia? I, I don't even know. 
Um, so it's land here. Oh no, I think Philadelphia would be more north. So if we look up, yeah, the whole sand is blocked out pretty much. That is a cool. Ah, you Americans are lucky seeing this. <laughs> I remember the last eclipse we had in England. Um, it was a very cloudy day, so we couldn't see it happen, which is so unfortunate. But it should be sunny somewhere in the USA. It can't all be cloudy, so some some of you guys probably will see it. So yeah, very nice stuff. Now let's um check out this simulation here. So. What does close-up mean? Oh, we literally just... Okay, it's just that. Okay, well, still pretty cool. So, yeah, there we are. So, very, very nice. I like that. So, actually, now I'm going to check out that new timer. So, what does this mean? So, I don't get this. So, let's just go... Let's just go t 10 days, maybe, and hit start. Ah, so it just speeds it up for you. That could be really useful in turning um, turning planets and stuff into stars in those videos. So we can actually speed it up a lot quicker. Like th this could be very useful actually. So let's just go to let's go to five months or no six months. So we'll go half a year. Let's see if it will sp like put Earth on the other side of the sun here. So if we hit start, hey, that's cool. So the moon stays around it as well, because I know when I like manually move objects, the moons don't follow the planet, so you've got to add the moons back in. But now we can actually do it properly and actually have like the moons go with the planets there. So that's a pretty cool that's actually a really cool feature. That that, that I definitely welcome that feature. That that's cool. Okay, so let's try and do a whole year on planet nine then. Can we can we do that? Or will it like crash the game? So let's go to um, my custom solar system here. Okay, so let's go all the way to planet nine, all the way out here. I'm glad they haven't removed my custom colours on this yet, because that would be a shame. So, Planet Nine's year, so or right now is, and where is it? Um, where are we at here? And where is it? Am I missing something? Oh, okay. So nineteen thousand years. So if I go into this, and then go to, oh, so I see years. So we go nineteen thousand like that. Wait, eight thousand. Wait, can we? Is that the highest? No, that's the highest. We can't put it any higher. Are you serious? So we can't actually do it. Okay, so if we do 8,000 twice, so is this going to work? Or is Planet 9 just going to sit there? Like, No, I think it doesn't work. Surely. Oh, oh hang on, is the inner solar system going? Okay, so the inner solar system is working. Okay, so, all of, so 7,000 years. Okay, so Planet 9 is still going to take forever. Because its orbit is just completely crazy. But yeah, there we go, so... Yeah, I'm just not moving at all in space. So Planet Nine has moved away. So yeah, if you're locked onto object, then you use the um, ASDW um, keys. Um, let's just go on to um, flashlight mode here, and then you just press one of the keys. The planet moves away from you because now we're in a complete stopped. Like we're not moving in space, but the planets and stuff still are. So Planet Nine does fly away from us. So it is working. It's just Planet Nine is taking forever. What about Iris? Is this moving? Okay, it is. Actually, I know what to do. So if we quickly go into chart mode here, okay, let's just cancel that. Let's delete all of the like inner objects. So we'll keep Neptune because Neptune's cool. And then we'll just get rid of yeah, we'll get rid of the inner planets. So let's go down here like this. So let's get rid of all of these. Okay, so now we only have Neptune, Planet Nine, and then a bunch of dwarf planets left. So now if we zoom out, maybe it'll run quicker. Like the game will go faster. Let's, let's give this a go. So yeah, we've got no. In oh, hang on. Dang it. Let's get rid of these guys quick. So, yeah, there we go, like that. So, the furthest object is... Okay, we'll get rid of Chiron and that one there. So, Neptune is now the furthest object out. So, now if we hit... Now, let's just do 8,000 years again. Okay, it won't go any higher than that for some reason. So, now if we hit start, now it runs faster. So, we can actually get a year on Planet 9, maybe. So, we can see it. Neptune is going around pretty quick. We've got Iris there, some of the other dwarf planets. Pluto is in there somewhere. So, look at that. That is cool. So, the year time is going down as the years pass by. So, if we speed this up, we can get a whole year on Planet 9 now. Look at this. We've got Sedna going there as well. Very cool. So, oh, it's slowing down a bit. Yeah, it definitely just stopped. That's because um, Planet 9 and Sedna are getting further from the sun, which means they are slowing down in their speeds. Yeah, the, these guys are all going fine. Well, the sun's moving as well. What the heck? Yeah, but yeah, Planet 9. The reason why it's getting slower is because it's getting further away from the sun, so it's slowing down in its orbit, but don't worry, the sun will pull it back. So as we can see, its orbit is... Okay, why is the sun orbiting Planet 9? Okay, d ignore that. It's because we don't have Jupiter here, but yeah. So, looking good. So, Planet 9's orbit should be good. So if we... Can we speed this up more? Okay, we're going the fast we can run it, I think. So, yeah, that is a cool feature. I do like that, though. So, 
Actually, let's delete some more of these guys, just so we can make it run even quicker. So let's get rid of some of these, like that. Okay, so now I've just got a little amount of them, so this should be able to run quicker, hopefully. Okay, still running about 130 years a second, but yeah, it is it is going. We can get a whole, we've already got a whole year on Sedna, look. Sedna's just done a whole year. Sedna's gone all the way around the sun now, that's that's cool. Okay, so Planet 9, you're at your furthest point now. See, the Planet 9 orbit, just compared to Sedna's, is so much bigger. Like, 17,000 years, Sedna is only 10,000 right now. So, yeah, Sedna's a lot quicker than Planet 9 is right now, so pretty good stuff. So, can we go any quicker? Okay, so we'll delete... Um, all of these guys now, so we'll keep Neptune there, hopefully. Okay, so now if we delete, is it going to run quicker now? Okay, this is the fastest it's running now, so we'll get rid of that one there. Can we reset this for 8,000 years? Okay, it always going, there we go. So Planet 9 is moving slowly but surely. Sedna's already about um, halfway through its next orbit, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, Planet 9's picking up in speed now. There we go. As it gets closer, it picks up in speed a lot more. Neptune is just flying around really quick, so sadly we will have to get rid of the awesome Neptune. So now if we hit play, oh, it runs a lot quicker now, I think. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. That is, that's pretty cool. So there we go. That, that is really nice, actually. So we've got Planet 9, Sedna there. That is, that's, okay, that feature is actually, I, I rate that. That's, that is a cool feature, I think. So, yeah, what do you guys think of this? Is this cool? Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice actually. So, yeah, we've almost done. Yeah, Planet Nine's only done two or three orbits, and we've done 100,000 years here. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, how many orbits? No, it's done more than what, what am I saying? Yeah, it's done a good amount of orbits now. Yeah, but there we are. Looking, that's, that's cool actually. I like that. So, well, if we try this with Trappist 1 system, <laughs> let's try this feature with that. So, now if we just go to like that, there we go. Speeds it up for us. That is, it's like a spinning wheel or like a windmill or something. Let's do. Let's do uh, one year, one Earth year. How many times do these guys go around in an Earth year? Look at this. Look how many times these planets go around Trappist in one Earth year. It's still going. Like, look how many... This is just how short these planets' years are. Like, if we just go to Trappist 1b here, for example. Let's just quickly go here. So, if we look at its... Yeah. It only takes a day to go around Trappist 1. So, if we look at that in years, 0 0.004. So, that's less than 1%. <laughs> of how long Earth's is, I believe. So that is just crazy how Trappist planets work. But yeah, there we go. So oh, it's gone a little weird there. But yeah, this was my custom-made Trappist simulation before they actually made a Trappist simulation for the game. Yeah, as soon as I found out about the Trappist system, I made a simulation for it in the game. But then a day later, they made their own simulation for Trappist, which kind of made this one obsolete. But I thought I'd still keep it anyway. It's just like might as well keep it. I did put some time into this, so. Yeah, looking good. I had, to, I had to do it properly. I had to, like, research it, get all the objects correctly in place. But, yeah, it's still a pretty good attempt, I think. So, yeah, there we go. That's very nice there. Uh, ooh, we could try it with the Voyager simulations. I do want to try that out with some more... Hades Comet? We'll try Hades Comet. I know my parents have seen this. Hopefully I'll see it one day. But, yeah, Hades Comet. So, let's speed this up. So, we're in uh, 1985. Yeah, like the 80s. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's go to... Okay, let's just do 10 years like that. So now if we hit start, and there's Haley's Comet. Maybe I should that. Should I add this into my custom simulation, guys? Like my um, my um, special solar system. Yeah, tell me. Should I do it? I be. I think Haley's Comet would be a pretty cool feature because look at its orbit. It's a very strange orbit there. It goes all the way out to um, yeah, past Uranus's orbit, almost out to the orbit of Neptune there. So Haley's Comet would pretty be a pretty cool addition in my um simulation actually. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of that. So let's um, speed this up a little bit more. And it's slowed down again, so let's try, uh, let's go over a uh, casual 100 years, like that. Wait, not years, please, not minutes. 100. 100 years. There we go. So now if we hit play, it should speed it up for us, which is pretty cool. So, come on, you know you want to come back to the sun. Look how quick um, Jude from Saturn are going around in the time Hades Comet, like, takes to turn around and come around again. Yeah, because as it gets closer to the sun, it starts to speed up more. As you can see, its velocity there is increasing, or its speed, I should say. So there we go, it's coming in now. Getting closer to the inner solar system here, and going past the orbit of Earth, near the orbit of Venus, and flying back around again, out to the orbit of Uranus and Neptune out there. So, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, should I, should I add Hades Comet into my um, custom simulation? Because yeah, it'd be a pretty cool addition. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? But anyways, um, that will do it for this video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this, like, 
short like I guess you'd call it a review on the latest update like would you call it a review oh, I don't even know but like a video on the latest update let's just call it that for now so yeah hopefully you guys all enjoyed the um well, this short video on the um, new update that came out today. So I literally only found out about or found out about the update about an hour ago. So I thought, let's go and make a video on it because it's my normal time for making videos as well. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So yeah, I'm back from my little trip as well. If you saw in one of my previous videos, they're pre-recorded um, because I was away for a few days. But now I'm back. So if you guys want or got any video ideas, anything cool like that, then um, feel free to leave them down below because. There are some cool ideas which I am going to be planning to do in the new near future, which some of you guys have commented. So, yeah, good stuff, I guess. So, um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. Like I said, make sure you all have a good day. Leave a like, subscribe for more, because we are over halfway to 1,000 subscribers now. We are closer to 1,000 than we are to 900. So that is just absolutely amazing. Can't thank everyone enough. But anyways, yeah, that is that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.